One moment I'm a network anchor, and the next, well, look at me. Looking a little round, Kathleen Sullivan started this year with a new assignment, paid pitch woman or Weight Watchers. What happens if it doesn't work? I'm a failure, again, on national television. And if anyone knows about failing publicly, it's Kathleen Sullivan. Though in the beginning, there was no stopping her. Two Huntington, Utah bank tellers. At 25, a local anchor in Salt Lake City. Just two years later, CNN. ABC News at 29. Also, there's new fighting around Beirut this morning. She was young, unpolished, inexperienced. But she was spectacular looking. In 1984, she was sent to the Winter Olympic Games in Sarajevo. And a star was born. America's hope for a gold medal now. An athlete herself, Sullivan was in her element. Sports Illustrated summed up her performance in one word, phenomenal. But what she would be remembered for were those hand-knit sweaters from the local bazaar. Sullivan, the sweater girl. When Playboy calls and asks you to do a centerfold, it does throw you. Back in New York, her career went into high gear, filling in for Joan London on Good Morning America anchoring ABC's health show and the Saturday evening newscast. And welcome to World News Saturday. If you're not ready and centered with a set of values and understandings about the world, you get caught up in it. Did you? No question, and you get lost. She says now it was all moving too fast. She was beautiful and rich, at 33, making more than a half million dollars a year. Detractors said she was underqualified and defensive about it. There were rumors about her personal life, gossip about office affairs. What do you do when people say all those things about you? I should have reacted. I should have stopped people from saying those things. And if you don't quell rumors right in the face at the very beginning, they will take over your life. By the time she was wooed away to anchor the CBS morning show at $1.2 million a year, Kathleen Sullivan was ready to show everyone she wasn't just a pretty face. And then, the exquisite beauty which had contributed so much to Sullivan's rise was perceived by some to be fading. Her weight fluctuated, and there was her prematurely gray hair. Every physical sense became an issue uh, when I was an anchor. Uh, and I think how I kept myself together was that I never thought those things were important. What is all important in television is numbers. And in the final six months of Kathleen Sullivan's tenure at CBS This Morning, the ratings were inching up. Then, in February of 1990, she was fired. Replaced by Paula Zahn. The cruelest cut of all came when an anonymous CBS source was quoted in the newspaper. What was it? Old, unattractive, and no one wants to look at her anymore, end quote. And boy, does that hurt. I'm very confused, really. Um, why we don't let women age beautifully. I mean, I don't want to be who I was 10 years ago in Sarajevo. She was scared and she was frightened and didn't know what was going on all around her. I really, oh, I enjoy myself so much more. And aging is wonderful.